Good morning everybody and welcome to another magical day. It is almost 12 o'clock. I meant to start filming earlier, but I'm gonna be honest, I forgot. Um, what have I done today? I've woken up, I had breakfast, I did a 20 minute workout on the treadmill and then I just walked for like another 20 minutes just because I wanted to get my steps up and I just felt like I needed it more. I had a shower, I got my hair up in a t-shirt. Um, this is what I've got on for today so far got on oh if you want to focus this camera is having such issues hold on so this is what i have so far jeans from kmart tank top from dotty um and i will be wearing a jumper and shoes obviously but i'm gonna go have some lunch now so let's go do that i have decided to have fried rice because we have a little bit of rice left over i've got my Start of my mixture here, other bits and bobs I'm adding, and Andrew was having cauliflower soup for lunch. Mm. Nice. Is it good? Tasty. <laughs> Very nice. Right, that's all ready to go in. My bacon and my onions are cooking. Yeah. The final product. Mm, I'm very excited. Looks delicious. Let's eat and then we can be on with the rest of our day and be productive. All right, my outfit with the jumper in the bag. I kind of really digging the slides <laughs> look to be honest, um, but I will put on other shoes just because uh, I'm not just going to my local shop. I'm going to like around. So, ah. Oh. I'm obsessed. I love these shoes so much. I bought them in Dis. No, I bought them when I moved to America at the Florida Mall from their pink brand. So whatever sells the pink stuff, uh, that's where I got them. They were forty dollars. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, hello. We're in the car, as you can see, uh, I did change my jumper uh, just because I. Oh, we'll turn my side off, shall we? Um, I was just not feeling, not feeling uh, the pink one today. Anyway, I thought I would take you along with me on my little errand day slash journey. So yeah, uh, the first place we're going is to Target, uh, Target uh, because I did the anything you can hold challenge with Andrew. Um, and there are a couple of pairs of pants that he got that he just wasn't loving. Um, so we're gonna return those, um, which still ends up being about the same as I spent on mine uh, because I also went, oh, we'll, turn, we'll pose that, I'm not sure about the noise. Um, because I, I returned some stuff as well, uh, then I can look around there. My big aim today though is I really wanna go to Kmart because they've got a ring light and I want to try doing some more TikToks. I don't know if I want to do it for a video. I thought that would be fun. You know, other people like trying to get TikTok famous. Um, and because I don't, like I have some kind of an audience on YouTube here, but it's nothing like the Try Guys or Sierra Schultz who already have like a big audience that will follow them on other social medias. So I thought it'd be fun. Uh, I currently have 12 uh, followers on TikTok. I make a video maybe once every two or three days, so I would love to try and do a whole week of videos. I have a couple of ideas for some, but one, I really want a ring light because then I don't have to set up my whole big proper filming setup, um, which I think that's a, a side note here. I'm so excited to move out because then I have my own studio. Andrew and I want a three bedroom because then one of the bedrooms can be my studio slash office where I can do my editing and I can do my filming and it'll be really nice. Um, I don't really know what else I want to do. Also, uh, oh, I need to get whitening strips because I'm doing a video on teeth whitening to see if teeth whitening strips like legitimately work or not. What else do I have to do today? That's really it. Uh, do some returns, go to Kmart, find a ring light and yeah, that's it. Nothing else. Oh, up 
update on my hand if anybody's interested. I have really bad eczema. I don't really show it a lot on camera just because it is one of the major things. You know, like some people you have certain things. Oh, sorry, there's a really nice car. It looks like Al's toy barn car. Anyway, you know how like you have certain things that you're just not quite confident enough, right? One of mine uh, is my stomach just because I don't like, I loved wearing crop tops and stuff when I was at my fittest and I could fit into my favorite pair of shorts. Uh, quarantine right, curl, quarantine hasn't hit me bad. Um, so I don't fit into them. So that's one of the things, my stomach. And the other part, the other one is my eczema. I really like the look of wearing lots of rings and everything, but I can't um, because my hands get really bad and rings hurt. But another thing is I really want to get my nails done and I really want to have nice fake nails, ones that look really pretty, but I, I feel like I can't because then people would look at my hands and my hands are horrible because of the, the, like how bad my eczema is. Um, like it's dry, it's flaky, it's like bubbly, like it's 3D effect-ish because like 3D, like it, it's raised because of how bad it is. So yeah, but I went to the doctors the other week um, and I got some super strong medicated uh, cortisone ointment, stuff like that. So it has, I have noticed a difference. I've only been using it for two days, but I can definitely notice a difference. Like my hand is not itchy. Um, it's still super dry, but I've only been using it for two days. Um, and I've been pairing it obviously with other things uh, like like regular moisturizers and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew would hate how far away I'm parking. Uh, Andrew really likes parking close. I prefer parking further away so that I have, uh, I can walk further and get more steps. Um, but that's uh, beside the point. Stop number one is done. Target returns are complete. Now we are heading to Kmart. Yeah. I just have to figure out which came out I want to go to, but I think I'm going to head, okay, I know which came out I'm going to head to, let's go, let's go there. Alright, I made it to Kmart, I'm on a mission, I can't let all this amazing homeware and clothing stop me, I am trying to find a ring light first, after that I can do whatever the hell I want <laughs> and get and do some shopping, but I need to find a ring light first, so, um, I don't know where to look, so let's keep finding. Okay, so no luck, I went and I asked, and they don't have a ring light. The last one sold about an hour ago, um, and I don't know when they're getting more, so it's fine. Um, the problem is, the one that I looked at is $250, and like, that's a lot of money for a ring light, whereas this one was only 20, and I was like, ooh, a $20 ring light, it's not gonna be the best, but it'll be nice to try. Um, yeah, so, I guess I could look other places, but I'm really, I was really sad my heart on this one, so, um, now I'm just gonna go look around Kmart, see if I want anything else, but be sad that I didn't get what I actually aimed for. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so that was a major fail. I did not get my ring light, and when I looked at like if the ring light was still available in other places, uh, it's all sold out everywhere. It's not even available online. So, uh, now I'm just gonna have to wait for them to do a restock, which is not an issue. Um, I could have gotten the light anytime, like this week, but like I'm not, I'm not busy. Uh, I just decided that today was gonna be my errand today. Oh, it is hot one, so. Yeah, so because I decided that today was my errand day, uh, I just happened to wait too long before I got the light, which is fine. Uh, this is the the one, by the way. Oops. So that's the the light. Um, oh well, though. I'm sure it'll get back in stock sometime soon and I can just like keep an eye out for it. Um, I bought some stuff I didn't need, specifically this. 
um, their face gems and diamondies. Uh, I thought it reminded me of Elsa, so I thought I could transform myself into Elsa. Um, and then I bought three packets of fake nails because as I mentioned before, I'm gonna, I wanna feel better with my hands and with my hands getting fixed from eczema, I wanna start wearing some nice fake nails. So I bought some, I bought three packs that I liked and I have one at home, so yeah. Anyway, um, what's next? I'm kind of not done shopping, but I really don't have any else here. Oh, I need to get petrol today. Ma, come fit cozy. Um, Andrew's still working. <laughs> I've just come to annoy him. <laughs> working hard. Hardly working. Um, I've decided that I'm going to put on some nails. I did buy some today, but I'm going to put on the pair, the ones that I bought last time, which is this one. Their French tip with some glitter and then an accent hollow nail. And this is by Impress Press On Manicure. Fonds. I know. So these are just press on ones, the other ones are glue. So I thought I'd do press on because I thought I haven't worn fake nails in ages. Uh, I think last time I wore it was 2017 and I put on black stick on nails for a party. That was it. So I'm going to try putting these ones on. Uh, this says there's 30, 30 nails. So let's give it a go. What do you want to watch? <laughs> Can we watch Sprinkage? No, I said we could watch Sprinkage. Oh, you're so heavy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bad decision. That was, that's not. <laughs> so, what do you want to watch? <laughs> okay, we're going to go because we're going to. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.